Hi, in this tutorial we will go through the Anchor SDK plugin and we'll see which are the important functions to interact uh, with the blockchain. Expand Anchor SDK, private and public. The public contains the header files and the private contains the C++ files. We have a few scripts here but the most important one is the anchor client.c++ file. Once we open the anchor client.c++ file, so we get a number of functions which are used to connect to the wallet and we can call functions on the smart contracts. We can send transactions we can sign a message and verify a message. So let's go through each method quickly. The first one is the constructor which is used to generate a device ID so which will be used to interact uh, with the backend server that communicates with the blockchain. So ping is basically a method or function used to check if the server is alive. Get client is the important function. When we call this function, the backend server give us the session with a deep link called the URI, and then we can call this URI on mobile devices to open MetaMask with our session and uh, some additional link. And on Windows, a QR code is displayed and the user can scan the QR code using their MetaMask on their mobile and they can connect to the wallet. Get wallet information is a function which will get the address of the wallet and chain ID. Get active account is used to get the current active account uh, in the wallet. Send ABI is used to get the hash of the ABI. Send transaction is used to send transaction, which is a write operation and changes the state uh, on the blockchain. So every time we send transaction, we get a ticket that is returned uh, by the response and then we can get that ticket result by get ticket result function to know whether it was successful or uh, we had a failure. Get data is a function used to call a read only operation on the blockchain and which uh, does not change the state of the blockchain. Sign message is used to sign a message that the MetaMask will pop up to sign the message. After we sign the message, we will get a ticket back and we can get the result of that ticket. And after we sign the message, we get a signature in the response and then we can verify that signature. After getting the signature, we'll send it back to the server to verify whether it was uh, successful or it was a failure. And then we can get the address by that signature who we'll signed the message. All these functions are called with parameters that each function requires. All functions send request at the best URL, which is this one. And to the best URL, each function joins and concatenates uh, its own endpoints. Like if you send a ping request to the server, that would be base URL plus ping. And if you are uh, calling the get client, it would be uh, base URL plus connect and so on and so forth. To expose the anchor client.cpp to Unreal Blueprint, we go to the 
project source uh, not plugin source but the project source and you should have a game instance class which is the which is the lifetime of the game as long as the game is alive this script will be available at all times regardless of uh, regardless of in which level you are playing the game so in this script we go to the header file we include the anchor client edge and we uh, declare the anchor client object and a function called get anchor client then on the c++ my game instance file we just uh, implement the function that checks if the anchor client is null then instantiate a new object and return that object and this function is uh, blueprint read only and visible anywhere one last thing you should do is to open the build.cs of the game project file so normally we have two of them like when you have a plugin you also have that build.cs inside the plugin and you also have another build.cs file which is uh, inside the game project so in that project uh, build.cs c -sharp file you have to add the plugins name after the last module so Kalma anchor sdk then try to compile and you can have the access to the get anchor client.c++ file function and you can call any function from blueprint so open unreal engine and go to the widgets and create a new widget if you don't have the folder create new folder and call it widgets and inside that you can right click user interface and widget blueprint and open the widget go to the graph section and anywhere on the graph you can call the get game instance which is the default game instance that we will be assigning in the edit project setting so if you have a game instance class that you have already made so you can assign that game instance inside project settings project maps and modes and at the bottom game instance class you can assign your own game instance class so when you get the game instance it will get the built-in game instance uh, built-in game instance and you have to cast that to uh, my game instance and this will return the my game instance class that we just worked in and then you can call the function that we implemented it was called get uh, anchor client and you can save it to any variable here on the left pane and then you can call the get anchor client and then the function anytime for example inside the get anchor client we have called uh, we have a function called uh, pink or yeah pink so this is a function from the anchor sdk which will give us a callback and in that callback we will have any response message that we get from the server so this is the way we uh, use anchor sdk plugin uh, via blueprint and in C++ we can use it anywhere we want.